Good morning, you two people. So yesterday I was working on uh, the uh, gas shock. Okay, um, where was I? Oh, okay. I was measuring this and you want two inches. But you're actually going to want it to go back a little further than two inches because you're never going to get it to stay um, exactly where you put it. No matter how tight you make that thing. So you want to put your tape on here. You want to have your measurement to the bottom of that tape. That's two. We want to move it out maybe... Three sixteenths of an inch. I don't know why. A uh, quarter inch. Quarter inch. And that'll allow for a little bit of play um, in your coat hanger. Oh, shoot. I'm getting to be a wickedly. There you go. Okay, that, that, that's your measurement. You're going to compress this. And again, measure again to make sure you... Yeah, I'm about... I'm two and an eighth, actually. So I don't know if that'll work, or I'll have to compress it a couple of times to get it just right. But that's what you got to do. Now, the next thing is... Clamps. And you want to put your clamps in so that they come up right in here. In other words, when your clamps go in, they need to come up in spaces that you know are going to be there. So you know this space will be here and that space will be there. So when you put your clamps in, they have to be in those positions. I have two relatively good clamps. And when you put your clamps on, we're going to try it a different way, but when you put your clamps on, I'm going to do a center mark. Maybe I can see it. Maybe I can. Oh, I can. Okay, that's your center mark there. He did a whole mess of measuring to do this, and I'm not going to play that game. I know that's my up because my, yeah, let's fold this out now. Um, there you go. I know when I put my clamp on, that's the big one. Where's the little one? And I put this in with crocus paper and this in with crocus paper or open cell or open something or other emery to hold it in place when I compress it. And what I determined was, after much ado, was you can't use crocus on this side um, because it holds the rod from doing its movement. Where the emery doesn't. The emery is smooth on this side, rough on the other. So, that is the deal. And coffee here. So, let's get at it again. One more time. See if we can do it without getting frustrated this time. What we got here is a bottle jack and a shelf top and what we're going to do is we are going to compress the because I have nothing else to do this I could go down to my buddy's garage and he's got a, pre a spring press down there but um, independence says I got to do it this way no it doesn't it's just inconvenience says I got to do it this way so what I'm going to do Let's see if we can show you this. Is here's your hopefully this is gonna go one time and we'll be done. A little thing, put it over this threaded end. 
It's a tube, a little aluminum tube, something I have laying around. You're going to take the end with the piece on it. Make sure you put your piece on it there and the aluminum tube here. Then you're going to lay this on the bottle jack. Of course, you got to press the bottle jack down enough. It's still up from the last time I did this. Yeah, there. It's a 130 pound gas spring, so it's a lot. See what happens here when we compress it. Will it hold? I don't know. Okay, attempt uh, 25,332. Gonna have to do something else here. For some reason, this will not hold now. And there's where it is cable clamp. Rod must be facing up. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're gonna. Um, I got away with the hose clamp on the other one. Okay, uh, guys, this is going to be attempt 2595. Uh, you would have thought that, I don't know, this time I'm using a cable clamp. Might not be the right one. So it would be easier if I had lined up all this stuff before, and I'll tell you what all this stuff is. Um... The crocus paper pot I didn't like. I ended up with emery, and it seems to work better. Okay, sliding through, not to where we need to be. Okay, we're there, hopefully. Hopefully we're there. Now we're just gonna tighten this down. See if it holds this time. <sighs> okay. Pray for it. Ooh. Ooh. Guess what? There it is, compressed. Now, is it compressed right? We don't know. But we're going to go throw this in and see where we are. Oh, that's bright. Let's uh, turn that down just a bit. Okay. Bring this up just a bit. And here's what we've done. We screwed it in the end. In this end. Okay. Oh, God. If only. We screwed it in. This end in here, in the piece. And the, you can see the clamp right there. There's the clamp. This end, we used a cable tie. Nothing under it. And that worked. Okay, we got our bolt back in. But I think in the earlier video you saw where there's a piece that goes over the end of the um, gas shock. That's this little duber right there. Okay, and I broke that off of this piece. Let's see if we can do it off of this piece right here. And I thought it was a big deal, but it's not. All they got to do is replace that with stainless steel. Replace this with stainless steel washers to be a spacer in here. And I'll be fine. And I could do that no matter what I did here. So that's what we got to do. Um, other than that, the bolt's in. I'm going to be working on taking these out, which is just a matter of unscrewing them and pulling the, the coat hanger out. And that's where we are. Now, the bolt doesn't have to be all the way across to hold the gas shock right there because of these two pieces from the arm. This piece is your gas shock. Right here is your one end of the arm and then that's the other end of the arm and then the bolt actually goes from here to here which is the whole piece but right now I gotta go out and buy more stainless steel washes because I went and broke this little piece here okay took me 25,000 tries 
but I actually, um, I won in the end, and I guess that's all that counts. This is a pain in the butt. It was all done with pictures, which I guess I could have done. But I thought um, letting you see the trials and tribulations would be better. There we go. Okay. Then you just pull that coat hanger out of there. You get the piece of the thing down to this end and pull that out of there. Piece of the cable clamp. And like I said, I'm going to write down all the all the parts and parts you need. And I probably put it in the video, and then you just stop the video to. And these, these really, these um, hosing things did not like this job at all. Uh, every time you use them, you wreck them. So, that's another one down. That was a brand new one too, I think. I just rip it out of it like that. There's the emery. And somewhere in here is your uh, rod. Long nose and see if we can pull that baby out of there. Long nose. Oh, it's down on this side. Here we go. And there it is. So basically it's all back together except for adding the washes down here. It's thoroughly capable doing with hand tools. And like I said, I'll give you the cost. It's going to be about 150 I think. Versus 465 for a whole new arm. So that's where we are. Um, then we're just going to... We'll be done. No, I didn't tell you how much the gas in this is. Running back and forth to the store. But that's how... It broke. I didn't go out and get washes because the little piece that broke fits in there snugly. Snugly. Do you like that word? I don't know if that's a real word. Let's see here. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might have to be two videos. But it, it fits in there pretty snugly. You can see it. It's right there. And when you, you know, it's, it doesn't move. So I'm assuming that that's going to be it. It's done. Um, again, being a little careful, taking your time, a little more than I did maybe, I don't know. Line up all the parts. I'll, I'll list the parts for you before you start. And um, that kind of stuff is a lot more advisable than what I did, which was um, I just as I went, I, I put it together, what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. I can't think of anything else. So I'll get you the course and we'll go from there. But that's tomorrow. Another day, another dollar. Adios. Have a good day. Part 3 will include sequence of events, parts, and course.